In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the unique capabilities of OpenStreetMap multi-polygons. I'm going to use the JASM or Java OpenStreetMap editor to do this. I'm not going to actually upload this data. This is just completely fake data. I'm going to do this over a body of water. Some of you may recognize this as part of Horsetooth Reservoir above the city of Fort Collins, Colorado. There's the A for the Aggies, the CSU Aggies. Um, that was the, the mascot's name before that they uh, became the Rams. Anyway, so I'm, I'm in add mode. See the little uh, plus cursor? I get there by hitting A on the keyboard. And I'm going to draw a way. A way in OpenStreetMap is simply an ordered list of nodes. And a node in OpenStreetMap is simply a location on the Earth's surface. It's a latitude and longitude in WGS84 and a unique identifier. So we've just created a way and we've created four nodes. Now I'm going to create another way. And if I click on here, JASM assumes I just want to extend the current way. So I'm going to hit Control Alt. So it creates a new way. And I'm going to snap uh, to that node. Now what's really happening is more than just snapping, is there is only a single node there. That these two this way and this way are sharing that node and the same applies up here. I'm going to go into select mode by hitting S on the keyboard. Notice my cursor changes. Hold down shift and click. And so now I've selected both ways. And I can go to my tools menu, create multi-polygon, changes color to indicate it's a multi-polygon that's selected. And you can see over here we have a multi-polygon and we need to tell JASM what that is. So let's go to Geography, Nature, Wood, and just apply preset. Now presets in JASM are little dialog boxes that allow you to easily uh, add information about features on the map. Okay, so what? A complicated way of representing an area of trees. But land cover, land use, uh, generally does they don't exist in isolation. There's other land uses or land cover adjacent to them. So let's go back into add mode. And I'm going to draw a third way. And again, I'm snapping to these nodes. And so now three different ways share that node and three different ways share that node. I go into select mode by hitting S and shift. I've selected both ways and tools create multi-polygon and we need to tell JASM what it is. Go to the presets, geography, See land use farmland. And just apply the preset. So now we have two uh, polygon here. It's for farmland and a polygon next to it for wood. And they share a common edge. Now in, um, if you want to talk about generically, not just 2D geometry, this would be called a face. But in 2D, we can use a more specific term edge. It's also a little bit more intuitive uh, for most people to call that an edge. And the advantage of that, one of the advantages, you're guaranteed not to have any slivers or gaps between these two polygons because they that actually is only a single piece of geometry, a single way between them that form, forms their common boundary, if you will. Further, if later we get more accurate sources or if let's say the farmer decides to cut down part of that woods and expand his cropland we can just edit 
um, their common boundary. Like that, we don't have to worry about introducing uh, slivers or gaps while doing that. Furthermore, then, uh, another reason to do this, and these are pretty simple polygons, but say that instead of having four or five vertices, they had thousands and thousands. If you break your polygons up into smaller pieces and create multi-polygons, uh, it's, it's easier for the software to process them and it reduces the chance of editing complex because if I'm editing one part of the polygon that's actually represented by a, a different way than the part of the polygon that you're editing, um, then that's not a conflict. If we're editing the same way, as long as we're adding or deleting nodes or changing tags, that's going to be a conflict. So, I'm not going to upload these. So I'll delete them just to be safe. And that is all about multi-polygons for now.